Good morning. Good morning. Everybody wanted to say hi. They all came up to the gate to say good morning to you guys. Yeah, yeah. And now we're saying happy Friday. Well. Well, good thing I switched the camera around. <laughs> so, anyway. Oh, poor cat. I know. We have one of our hands just getting all getting. kinds of feathers lost on her back. Yeah. And so I'm going to have to take one of these other roosters out of here. Which was the plan in the first place. Yeah, we're only supposed to have two in there. And we got four. Yeah. But and that's going to be rectified real soon. Yeah, there's. I only see one that's getting it pretty bad. She must be the favorite. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> but that's all right. She's not doing too horrible, but no, I can see where it can get really bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all the leaves everywhere, guys. I know. It's so pretty. How come that rake hasn't been busted out yet? Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, a part of it is, uh, I don't know, I'm, if I rake now, you know, tomorrow they'll just be just the same amount of leaves out. <laughs> I know, I'm just kidding, babe. <laughs> I but I know I should rake. I need to rake. Mm-hmm. Whip out my new rake. <clears throat> Hi, Jenna. Hi, Jenna. Oh, it's a nice day today, guys. It's, there's not really, really much any wind at all. No, it's supposed to rain though this afternoon. Yeah, it should be raining around what three, I think Gary said. That's yeah. I haven't actually looked, but that's what I hear. That's that's the rumor on the, the property. Yep, it's three o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted to tell you guys a story today. Yeah. <laughs> um last night we were inside the house and uh getting dinner ready and just you know, talking between me and Roxanne and I was like I was like, man, think of all the stuff since we've been here that we've learned, <laughs> right? Think of all the stuff that we've learned. And we started listing off a bunch of things, you know. You know, we've... <laughs> Great. Now they're going to be here. Make a noise. That's all right. Yeah. We'll just migrate this way. Or the things that we've never done, right? Yeah. So, since we've been here, and I'm sure a lot of you guys know this already, okay? But since we've been here, these are the things that we have learned and done that we've never really done before. Yeah. I'll start from the beginning. Never cleared land. No. Even though we didn't physically do it. Never had land cleared. No. Never uh, had land too clear. No. <laughs> um, put this down. Never cleared land. Never had a well put in. Yeah. We've never laid water pipes. Never had power. Had to have been power brought over. Yeah, never had to call the power company. Yeah. Never had to build a power pole. Never had to lay down this queen for underneath the house. Shoveling rocks. I've, I mean, we've well, shoveled I've done rocks. That, I've done that a bunch of times. Yeah, but we've never done it to this scale. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of shoveling rocks in my my life. Never done uh, skirting on anything. Roxanne has never really framed anything, yeah. wood wise. No. Okay. Never done roofing. Never done plumbing drainage. Never done supply lines yep. to a house. Mm -hmm. Never put in a frost-free spigot. Never done a lot of, I think I said drywall, but mudding. Very, very, very little in my life. Yeah, I've This for both did, of us, yeah, right? Everything. Um, only one time in my life have I built garden beds. Yeah. This is the first time in all actuality you've ever gardened. Yeah, actually grew a garden and it gave me something, you know, produced something. I've never made it yeah. that far. Never ever used a sawmill before. Yep. I've never done that before in my life. Yep. What else? Never built a deck. Yeah. Ever. No. Uh, never put on a ledger board. Uh, installed a door. <laughs> never installed a door. Never installed a window. Oh yeah, that's true too. Never installed an AC wall or window unit into a wall. Yep. Yeah. I've never done that before. Mm -hmm. Run power. Ne have never ran power, yeah. which we ran from right here all the way to camp. Well, that and the house, you know. Yeah, well, yeah. It never never ran power inside a house. Yeah, never done electrical outlets. And... I've done those, but the power was already there. Yeah. That's it was just I'm... little screws, right? Yeah, you just remember where the pl uh, wires were at and replaced it. Exactly, like mark them. Oh, this one was there, that was there. And then yeah. they'd come out in the same way and you'd go, mm, okay, that one goes there. Not even know which one was what. Yeah. Right? Yep. Um, let me see. What else? 
There's um, been tons of stuff. Oh, yeah. You know, building a room, which you said framing, right? But you've never, like, had to measure it out and, like, turn it into a room. Like, the mm -mm. laundry room. and Never built a freestanding building. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Chicken that's, coops. That's square. Chicken coops. <laughs> never built chicken coops. Mm -hmm. Let me see here. I know there's more. Uh, <laughs> never raked so many leaves in my life. Yeah, right. <laughs> You're waiting for the fall in, in, <laughs> in Vegas, that one tree, please fall. I got my brand new rake. Yeah, well, I never had a brand new rake. Craziness. Yeah. Never installed a dryer vent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good one. All these things we were talking about last night no, for like an hour. we've never done until we got here. Yeah, we've never done until we got here. And when we were here, we're like, oh yeah, we'll figure it out, we'll figure it out. We had to figure everything out while we're here yeah as we went as we went yeah jana and yes jana leave ram alone please so it's been an amazing time so far of learning yeah and different things and so i wanted to express all these things we learned right and i was talking to her i was like man imagine this is how the whole conversation started i was all babe imagine if we were back in vegas at our old house it was an old house from like 84 and i said imagine if we were there right when we first moved in with the knowledge we have now yeah right i said imagine what we could have done with that house yeah like if we were if we planned to stay there forever like if we didn't move here but we had the knowledge now and i was like man i could have built a big pergola in the back i could have <laughs> there's a lot of things we could have done in the front courtyard we had a courtyard in the front of the house i mean one of the walls is kind of leaned over, but mm. now I know why. One of the top beams was rotting out, right? And I was and seeing that um, when we lived there, I was like, man, I don't know how to fix that. Yeah, no. Yeah. And and when you buy a house and everything works and everything's good, yeah, you, you just move in, right? You just move in, and eh, I don't, you know, there's the plug; it should work. And a lot of people, and us too, yeah. we we're the same exact way. Yeah, right? we're included. Yeah, we're included. When you move into a new house or a house or an apartment or a condo or whatever, right? Yeah. New place. You don't you don't need to learn those skills because you'll just call somebody. Well, call somebody or it's already there and done like you just said, right? And it's like, good for the next 20 years. Yeah, you never even really think about, well, how did that outlet get power? Where is it coming from? You know what I mean? Those are the types of things you don't really think about when you're moving into your house and, until you got to fix something. Exactly. And so... Um, there's like two two stories I'm telling you guys right that I want to tell you. So uh one one fairly soon after we moved in. So in our house we had a wet bar mm -hmm. in the den, right? We had a step down den and had a wet bar. Like I said the house was from the 80s. So that was real popular back then. Yeah. Which was awesome by the way. Yeah, we loved it. Loved it. Used it all the time. And one day underneath the sink I was going to tighten or loosen or something one of the fittings under there to check it. And the fitting blew off, and there was water shooting all the way across the wet bar onto the door. Yeah. Right? And I'm sitting there screaming, oh, crap. You know, and I plug it with my finger, and I tell Roxanne, go turn off the water to yeah, the house. Yeah. And she's like, where's that? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I don't know. It's on the sidewalk in front of the house yeah, somewhere. Yeah, and he's like freaking out, and I'm like, I don't even know where it's at. Yeah, yeah we had no idea where that. And I am literally have my finger in the copper pipe, <laughs> plugging the water, and we had like massive pressure yeah. in this house water pressure that's probably why it blew our house was the first off of the water main yeah it was on right, the block well it was right in front of our house and so yeah like we need to have like water regulators and all kinds of stuff installed but anyway so i'm sitting there holding the pressure and i'm screaming at roxanne telling her run outside it's nighttime it's dark yeah right she has to grab a flashlight and she don't even know what she's looking for and she finally figures it out she turns the whole house water off and i have to call uh, an emergency plumber yeah right but i didn't have any of those tools to fix that i had a little bit of knowledge because i went to a, a refrigerant school when i was in the army yeah and learned how to solder copper but it's one of those things i had no need to ever do it so i never had the tools so we had to end up spending that was like 600 bucks or something yeah for them to come out and put a little valve on which you guys seen us do multiple times yeah i mean like you just said the only difference was that was <laughs> copper yeah but we did pecs right but i had the knowledge right yeah and so i that's one of the things like if i would have done that stuff and had like tools just available just you know just in case 
I could have fixed that myself. Yeah. Right. I would have been more comfortable with it now, especially. Yeah. But the real thing is what we were talking about. <laughs> yeah. And this made me so mad. Yes. It's, it's one of those things, you know, when you, as you get older, right? Oh, if I only knew now what I knew back then or knew. Knew back knew then what I know, I know now. now. you know. So here it is. I, th I think it was July. I don't know. July or it was August. Summer. It was mid hottest part of the year uh, in Vegas. So average temps during the day, 115-ish, right? Nighttime, 103, 104. And we're sitting there in the living room, minding our own business, watching TV. And boom, all the power goes off in the house. I'm like, okay. I'm looking around. I First thing I do is I go outside mm -hmm. and I look to see if everybody else's power is off. Yeah. So I look across the street, their power's on. Look next door, their power's on. It's only our house. I'm like, oh, great. So I go over and I go to the, the power panel. You know, like one of these. Yeah, it was outside. It was like this. It was mounted. On the house. To the house. Outside. Outside. Yep. So I go over there. And I look and I don't see any breakers popped off. And then I notice up on top, the main breaker's off. I'm like, that's weird. Why is the main breaker turned off? So I flip it back on. Boom, everything comes back on. Okay, well, something must have big giant power surge something. Mind you, I've never at this point... Neither one of us has ever even installed a, a breaker. No, or replaced a breaker. Or replaced a breaker yeah. or anything. <clears throat> we, we don't know anything about electrical. Yeah. Nothing, zero. Yeah. So, okay, go back inside and not even 30 minutes later, boom, the power goes off again. Yeah. I'm like, oh, great. I got work the next day. It's like 9 o'clock at night. Yeah. 100 and something degrees outside, okay? Why it's only like 5 or something maybe four nah he was like five or six was he yeah okay, he's towards the end anyway so i go back outside and like well this isn't good flip it back on and instantly it trips again dink flip it back on pink the main breaker in the panel will not stay on and i'm like oh great yeah and so i'm freaking out i don't know what to do i mean the house is already starting to warm up yeah. Right. We didn't have double pane windows. I mean, it was, like I said, a house from the 80s. So it wasn't as efficient energy wise as nah. houses are today. Yeah. And so I'm like, all right, I don't know what to do. I got to call an emergency electrician, see if they can come get out here and fix this because we can't go all night with no power. Um, I got work the next day. The house is going to be a hundred and something degrees in the morning. Yeah. yeah. And it would be. I promise you guys. It'll be a hundred and something in the house. And so I call, find somebody. The guy finally shows up like two hours later. And he wanted me to text him a picture of the panel and all that stuff before. So I did. And of course, he's like, oh, that's going to be a, a hard breaker to find. You know, it's an old panel from 1984. Yeah. <laughs> right? yeah. It's an original panel. I'm like, well, do you have a breaker? And he's like, yeah, it shows that we have two you know, used ones in the system here in, in Vegas in the warehouse. I'm like, all right, cool. So he brings one, he comes over, and it's this younger kid. Not a, not a stupid guy or nothing like that. It's not where I'm getting at. But you can tell he's <laughs> kind of fresh. So he gets out there and he starts checking the panel. And he's like, hey, your main breaker's bad. Okay, can you replace it? Sure, I can replace it. I got this new one or refurbished one or whatever. So he's trying to pull out my, my original breaker. And he ends up breaking the bolts on the breaker. And he's like, oh, no, oh, you know, horrible, blah, blah, blah. I don't know what to do. I can't get it out. I said, well, I got a tap and die set if you want to use that. Oh, yeah, yeah, that'd be great. So the electrician ends up using my tools. Yeah. Okay. And me out there at like 1130 at night now to extract the bolts out of the panel, pull the main breaker out, put the new breaker in. Get it in there, flips it on, and it instantly pops. Right? Yeah. And he's like, oh, that's not good. I'm like, well, what's not good about it? He's like, it shouldn't instantly pop like that. I said, well, you're the electrician, dude. What's the matter? And he starts checking all the breakers. He's like, well, I don't see no high amp draw. Or He's like, oh, well, maybe there, he's like, there, there could be something really bad, you know, going on inside your house. You know, um, you might have to have some new lines ran throughout your house and have it figured out. Might have to come back out tomorrow. I remember him telling him that. 
I said, dude, I can't have, I can't have that. Yeah. I said, how about, and here I am, I've never done a panel or electrical in my life. I said, well, can we make sure it's the main breaker that you brought? It's not bad. I said, can we turn off all these breakers so nothing in the house is getting power or something? He's like, oh yeah, we can try that. We could try that. So we turned everything off, flipped the main breaker on, and it popped instantly. Yeah. And he's like, oh, okay, it's it's the main breaker I brought. It's bad. I'm like, okay. He's like, we got one more in the valley, but it's way up north. I'll be back. I'll go get it. Yeah, yeah. But it's going to be like an hour and a half before I can get back. I'm like, I don't care. So he gets back at my house a little bit over one in the morning, right? And... And I'm sitting there like, please, yeah. <laughs> please. I'm tired. I got work. I got to be up at, at 5.30 in the morning to go to work. He comes back, puts the new breaker in, puts everything on. Boom, everything's up and running. He's testing it. You know, amp draw is fine. Everything's great. I'm yeah. like, oh, thank God. That was the problem. <clears throat> and then he's like, all right, cool. And he whips out his clipboard. And uh, he, before he gives me the bill, he's like, hey, he gives him this whole story about how we need to 100% replace the entire panel. Yeah, well, like it's, old. it's an old panel, you need to update it, you know, we can come out here tomorrow and replace it all. Put different breakers in. Put all brand breakers and everything. I mean, no, 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 don't, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. And I guarantee it would have been like five, $6,000 for them to replace the panel. Because when he handed me the bill that I had to pay right then and there at 1.30 in the morning with my card for one breaker for him to come out twice spend four hours there back and forth at his fault use my tools and me help him and me actually extract two of the bolts off that main breaker they charged me over 1500 bucks yeah for a breaker yeah and so what i'm getting at with this story right yeah that's insane guys 1500 bucks yeah <clears throat> for one breaker main breakers are only you can get them for like 100 bucks yeah 150 bucks depending on the amp right sometimes more but anyway the main thing is we've learned so much out here. We could have had that done ourselves. Yes, we could have found the breaker. And it's funny, like, because I mentioned it too. I was like, well, I knew a bunch of electrical companies, so I could have found the breaker somewhere. Yeah. Somebody could have helped me find it at work or whatever, right? Oh, yeah. And we could have replaced it and saved us, you know, over a thousand dollars, you know? Yep. And so now with Roxanne and myself putting in four panels, these two, Thunderdomes and the camps. Yeah. We've learned so much with electrical and so much around this property. It's insane. Yeah. And, it's, and it was just a, a funny story we were thinking, we were talking about last night. Yeah. And I, well, I told Anthony, I said, uh, you know, though, <clears throat> if we didn't move out here like we did, uh, we never would have learned any of this mm -mm. stuff because we never had time. It was uh, time and just, you know, when we did have time to do stuff, we were tired and just, you know, stuff like that. Yep. Knowledge is money, guys. It is. Yeah. And um, definitely, I'd say electrical, plumbing, uh, drywall, all those things are very um, good skills and traits to know and how to do. Just for yourself. For yourself. Yeah. I guess that's where we're getting at, too. Like, um, you know, go learn something, guys, around your house. Like, yeah, or like we were talking about too, just real quick, you know, um, I said, you know, it's sad that everybody drives cars every single day Yeah. and there's people out there in the world that don't know how to change a tire or replace yeah. their battery a or, tire, yeah. Yeah, or even <clears throat> your windshield wiper blades. I mean, those are just basic things I think people should know, especially if you drive your car every single day. Yeah. Unless the battery for sure, the battery <clears throat> for sure. And I think a tire for sure. Well, yeah. I mean, there's a difference between not knowing and unable. Yeah. So remember that. Yeah. If you're unable to do it, that's a different that's story. That's totally different. Yeah. Totally different. But, um, you know, knowledge is money. Like I said, and knowledge is key, guys. Well, knowledge is power. Knowledge is power. Yeah. So I'm happy that we've learned so much. But maybe today, um, go find something that you guys don't know and just go on Google. Yeah. Maybe research. Sure. Maybe research how, uh, how your light switch works. Mm -hmm. Something small like that, maybe just gain a little tiny speck of knowledge that you may never have thought of. Well, and plus also too, it helps out in the future, right? Like you know how sometimes car um, repair shops can try to rip you off. Yeah. But if you know some knowledge about what you got going on in your car, you know you can kind of prevent some of that from, you know, getting taken to the cleaners in a sense. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I agree with that. It was yeah. a lot easier with cars back in the day when they were like 
really mechanical. True, I know. They got all the computers. I can't even tell you what's wrong with my truck half I know, the time they if got, there's something wrong. I you know, the computers, yeah. and they did that on purpose, I'm sure. They did, they did. <laughs> but we're feeling good today, guys. Yes, I feel great. Good vibes. I got some computer work to do today. And it's Friday. And it is Friday. <laughs> we'll be chilling tonight, having a good time. Yeah. I'm feeling back to 100%, which is really good. Yep. Very got nice. some real food in your tummy yesterday. Yep, yep. Roxanne's got some work to do inside. Yeah, a little bit. I'm not I'm not gonna go crazy in there today. No. No. You guys hear the egg sound or the egg dance? Yeah, a song. Egg song. Yeah. This one. You hear it? Oh now they're not gonna do it. Anyway. Spot on. Good vibes today, guys. I'm yes. feeling uh energetic today. So gotta get some stuff done. I hope your guys' vibe is as good as ours, if not better. Yes, and have an awesome weekend, everybody. Awesome weekend. Have a, a great weekend and we will see you guys all on Monday. Bye. Bye.